Heyo, I'm Toasted at uh, Ideas, and in today's video, we're going to be reacting to another video by a channel that goes by DBDR. Don't know what that stands for, don't know if it stands for something. Uh, but the title of it is What Your Competition on Online Dating Apps is Like, which I'm suspecting is going to be a video of them telling us are showing us what type of competition is actually out there in the real world for online dating. But, you know, let's let's dive in. All right, today I am going to be sh You know what? I'm going to be honest, first things first, I not what I was expecting to hear. Uh, so what I'm guessing is it's a dude who's pretending to be a woman on Instagram showing you what your competition is like on online dating apps you know because i feel like most normies like the mindset is to you know they get the app they don't actually know who know who they're going against i mean if you're playing a sport you're probably going to want to see who you're going against um just to see if you have a chance or not but um i mean yesterday i was on like a, a 20 it was crazy i was on like a 20 person streak like swiping on dudes who put like six one six two six six like crazy heights you know in their bios and i was like jesus christ and then all of a sudden you know it went dark and i got a bunch of sub fives for like 20 dudes straight and i was like damn like this, this app is like it's, it's crazy man but um i mean this dude right here like the, what i opened the app to see does he even have a, yeah he's a bio future dilf just moved here nice one um but anyway, I'm going to go through, like, the uh, the new DMs I got. Um, there's just one dude. He said, slap me. What was this? You look like the perfect kind of crazy. Slap me. Like, who the f who's going to take you seriously? Like, like, I don't understand, like... I don't know if I have to tell you or not. I, perhaps I do. But this is not a good starter statement. It is immediately gone down the sexual path which isn't a good way to get with someone i mean unless you're for hookup culture in which case i mean i guess but I, you're still doing it incorrectly because you're desperate so you're you're failing in both categories of trying to be in a relationship or trying to do hookup culture because you sound desperate you're failing in both qualities but anywho why would why would that like how's this gonna work you know saying slap me like this dude is like a normie at best like why would you say slap me uh, not exactly sure what the statement of normie has anything to do with the term slap me but uh sounds kind of like cope if you ask me but anywho um i can and here's the thing like, i could just imagine can you imagine like these um these red pill pua dating coaches sitting here and telling you bro you ain't doing it right you gotta you gotta uh, you know do the um the texting game bro you gotta be flirty seductive bro you have to know how to text i ain't gonna give a shit how you text look at how many people i have to choose from you think i'm gonna actually read this shit i'm just gonna go on the chat you know i don't really i wouldn't care what these guys have to say and yo most of these um what is it uh most of these like openers like these cringy pickup lines they're cringe they're so bad man they really are I see, not gonna lie, I'm good at Pong. I'm not good at Pong, but I'm good at other things. Uh, once again, leading on the sexual side of things, like, the, you know what the dot 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 there is at the end for? It's like one second away from a, a the water emoji and an eggplant. Like, you know what it means, but, like, that's not how that, once again, in a sense, it sounds desperate. You're trying to come off as being cool about being desperate, but it sounds like you're still desperate. Like, you gotta be chill about wanting to ha have those kind of activities happen. You can't just be at the bit like this. You have to, gotta be, you gotta have some smoothness. You gotta have class to you for that to be even approachable for yourself. Bro, this dude, oh, I, this dude is, has in his bio, he's 6'6", six, six, man. Six foot six. Jeez, man. It's crazy tall. Um, let's see, this dude's Jim Max. I ain't even gonna shy away from this. I have a thing for, you know, goth girls, but what's up, lol? Um, 
if I were to give a hinter for this, I would have to say, um, probably don't, yeah, that's it. I, I was about to say something else, but I mean, I have nothing else to say on this other than just don't. The problem with it is the fact that he went from saying, I ain't gonna, uh, I ain't gonna shy away from this. I have a thing for, you know, goth girls, which, uh, if, guys, if I'm going to teach you one thing, have grammar, okay? Have grammar, okay? He says, I have a thing for, you know, goth girls. Like, he is missing, he is missing something here. I have a thing for, you know, goth girls. That, that doesn't sound proper. He's missing punctuation. And there is a space missing here. Look, I'm gonna tell you this straight up. If if who I'm dating does not have grammar abilities to them, I'm not gonna be dating them. I'm sorry, I cannot deal with elite speak because that is the most childish form of communication ever and it bores the ever-loving mind out of me. I, I hate everything about new age lingo stuff. I hate it. So... If I'm going to teach y'all one thing, have grammar, okay? Just have grammar, okay? Be able to talk without leet speak or without improper punctuation. Like, there are so many grammar-type apps that grammar-type services that exist nowadays that this should not be happening. Or at least you should be able to understand how punctuation works and you should know to put a space here. You don't have to be perfect, perfect, but you have to understand. Anywho. Also, the but what's up after all of this? Yeah, that's not gonna work. Like, but what's up, lol? Like, okay, this... This does have an air of desperation to it because what was the purpose of the lol? There... Nothing here is funny. It's, it's, I would at best say weird. Uh, cause like, sure, you can have a thing for goth girls, but why do you have to do this ooh ooh senpai bullshit? What is that? Uh, yeah, the, he, the, so after ending off this with the, but what's up lol? Kind of sounds, Kind of sounds like you just talked um, a dirty to to a bully, but then you're like, but we cool, right? Like, it, it sounds desperate. Okay, you want to know something? Like, when dudes, when dudes do this shit, when they message a day later or a week later or a month later, like, that is, like, the most, like, embarrassing shit in the world. This dude's gym maxed. And like I said before, I noticed, like, most guys on here are gym maxed. Like, that's, like, the bare minimum to, like, just qualify as a normie now. This dude. Um, I don't know what gym maxed means, but, uh, you should be going to the gym. There we go. Is that difficult to understand? You should be going to the gym. If you want to be in a relationship with someone who goes to the gym, then you also have to go to the gym. But if you don't go to the gym, then understand that you don't deserve someone who goes to the gym. In fact, you're very unlikely to get with someone who goes to the gym because you don't get to go to the gym. And something about people who go to the gym is that they're healthy, I would suspect. Unless they're, of course, doing, like, drugs. But aside from that, if someone is being healthy, they want their partner to be healthy. You know, healthy and healthy. Why would a healthy person want someone who's ill or sick? That doesn't make sense. Now, granted, that ill or sick person might be doing something else other than, you know, being ill and sick. That might convince, but typically likes attract likes on this point. Dude blew me a kiss. Hey, you're hot. <laughs> he put the swipe note. There's a guy on here. I got to find his DM. He, he said, like, in his um, bio, he said he was six foot eight and an entrepreneur. And he sent me a message that said, send me feet pics. I was like, what the fuck? Why are you like, okay. <laughs> uh, let's see, Rob. Can you cut? Oh, what? Uh, can you? Oh, uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't be saying that. The f I have a knife play in the work, I see. Let's see. Actually, hold on. I want to look at this real quick. Uh, not Trying this. Put in the work, I see. 
Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, look, I... If I have to tell you guys what... Okay, I'm going to tell you guys what's wrong here, okay? I will approach this in a manner of I'm trying to teach you something. Even though I'm still single, I'm doing better than these guys, okay? I'm going to tell you that one for free. So let's look at this dude, Rob. Uh, how about we get together and you sit on... Probably going to be, like, sit on my face later. Or, sorry. How about we get together and you sit on my face? That's what I think he has on it. Either that or sit on my, uh, hot dog, you know. And, uh, this message tied up with the photo, not a good pairing. Really not a good pairing. I mean, granted, the, the statement you're saying isn't a good pairing. Like, it just isn't. Uh... If you're here for a hookup, then I could see how this would work. Doesn't sound desperate. Uh, I would just say that, oh, I mean, granted, Tinder, most men look at it as just a hookup website, which I don't disagree with. But I'm going to be taking this from the portrayal of trying to be in a relationship. Okay, because that is what most people should be aiming for, not this stupid hookup shit. Okay, and then Spencer with the what's up. Uh, boring as hell. I'm gonna be honest. Boring. Like, what's up? There's a lot of other people who are doing the same thing, okay? Like this. Oh, you know what? You, you, you guys are not seeing my cursor. Hold on one moment. Let me get this changed real quick. Uh, shit, okay, why are you not working? There we go. Okay, uh, okay, so, look, Spencer's saying what's up, there's gonna be other people who are going to say basically or exactly the same thing. Like, Solomon, S Solomon, uh, saying what's up with you? Yeah, look, once again, bringing up that grammar point here, this is... If I were to ever, if I, if I were to personally get a message from a woman, I don't give a fuck about how hot she is. She is being dropped off on the curb in my brain, cause I hate this. What's up? I'm okay. I'm a little bit okay with that because you know, I'm, it's all right. It's informal, but I get it. It's not that terrible. But the wit you, oh my god, these things, like. Is it too difficult to put an H and an O? Like, why? I would have been more satisfactory with you if you were to just put W slash and then a U. Because then you're obviously just short forming it up to the short formest of short form. But you did wit you? Ugh. Ugh. That's gross. And, yeah, no, if, if a woman, I don't give a shit about how hot she is, ain't, ain't nothing happening. Ain't nothing happening. Because if she cannot have proper grammar, then how could I ever ha how could I ever trust that she could do anything competently? Like, let's, let's keep it a stack here. If she can't type, uh, she can't write properly, then how could I ever trust her to be competent in anything? I, I don't think I can. Okay, and then let's move on to Tyler. He says, hey, I'm writing about the finer things in life. Probably ending off with something upon the lines of, hey, I'm writing about the finer things in life. Uh, something about talking about her or this dude that we're watching, which, I mean, it's a pickup line, but it's very bad because it doesn't really give a whole lot. But I would suspect... Let's see. Oh, hold on. And then Russ saying, what's good? Once again, grammar. Weird. What, the what's up part, I'm okay with. Because it's like, what's up? How's it going? That's typical lingo people use. But the what's good? Who says that? Who's like, what's good? No, just say, what's good? Or perhaps, if you wanted to enunciate it, be like... Uh, what's going on with you? Put more words there. 
why did you have to add two more O's to a word that doesn't need two more O's? It's weird. And he's also using the wrong, wrong form of what's. Like, that, that, that apostrophe there has no purpose. I mean, okay, well, I mean, it does, but at the same time, it doesn't. Uh, see him putting the, the, the enunciation of good, if you're to get rid of the apostrophe, it'd be better, because it, it'd sound better, because, like, it'd be, like, what's good, uh, rather than what is good, uh, which would be the apostrophe, but... I mean, the grammar is just a, atrocious. But, oh, I put an SH when I said that. You know what I said. Okay, yeah, so he does look at uh, Tyler's. Okay, so he said, Hey, I'm writing about the finer things in life and was wondering if I could interview you. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I've never seen this myself, but I have heard of this being something messaged or said in messaging stuff like oh like not ex not exactly this but i've heard about the whole entire line of hey i'm writing about the finer things in life that i've heard over and over and over and over and over and over and over again like it's it is long gone and dead and at the same time this really doesn't provide anything I was wondering if I could interview you, and then you don't ask a question. First of all, if you're gonna say, and I was wondering if I could, uh, if you say, and I was, and, uh, and was wondering if I could interview you, you don't want to put a question mark here because you're trying to interview someone. It, it would be a question mark if you were to say, I want to apply but you're in you're the interviewer how are you asking the applicant if they want to be a if they want to be interviewed like they're there to interview them the question mark is completely pointless they are there to get the job so they need you to interview them why are you asking if you can interview them they're there uh so yeah uh, it, it just, it's very weak. It doesn't provide anything of him. It doesn't provide substance at all. It's just, it's a bland comment. Let's be real here. It's a bland. And it's just incorrect as to how it goes by. And I was wondering if I could interview you, you. Once again, why are you asking if you can interview the applicant? That's not how an employer works. That's that's not how that works. The applicant asks the employer if they can have a job, and then the employer interviews them and is like, "All right, sure." <laughs> like this this doesn't work. This doesn't work. Which I mean, technically, if I really wanted to stretch this, I could even just take this statement and immediately take your masculinity points and put it down like five points because. Once again, you're asking the applicant if you can interview them. That is, like, that is not only, like, submissive, but it is submissive on top of submissive. Because you're the employer. How are you asking the applicant if you can interview them? Like, how does that happen? Hey, I'm writing about the finer things in life. I was wondering if I could interview you. That is corny as hell, bro. Like, these are so corny, man. Uh, man. Okay, uh, I'm gonna make comments on these last uh, messages, because the video is already long enough, but this dude here says, you're fine as, uh, uh, fine as F, um, which, uh, I mean, that can be true and all, but everyone is saying that. The makeup is bad, bad A. The same shit, different pile. I think your hair is sick. Same shit, different pile. Like, it's the same thing. And then, uh, once again, I think your hair is sick. Andy is saying, what color is your hair now? 
it, same thing, basically, just different pile. Granted, this guy's doing it better because he's asking a question. Uh, the only problem is... It's, it's lacking grammar. What color is your hair now? Like, did it... Any foreplay to the conversation, any whatsoever, you just jump right in asking what color is your hair now. I don't know you, why am I going to answer to you? I, you do not deserve an answer at that rate. And then uh, Vladimir saying, hey Samantha, how is your Friday going? That is, I'm going to be honest, kind of creepy. Just going to put it out there, That that is, that is creepy. What? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I, I, hey Samantha, how is your Friday going? I, that just, it would be a lot more better if you were to say like, how is your day going? How is your night going? How is your evening going? But why the specific day? Like why say, how is your Friday going? That seems weird and off-putting in my own opinion. And then uh, Kejuan says, and the makeup is bad. Eh, you got to do uh, something, something, whatever. Uh, it's a, probably a cheesy pickup at that rate. But, I mean, once again, he's doing what every other dude is doing, which is complimenting her looks, which is not going to get a response. Just isn't. Let me check. Cute. What the hell? Hell, is this Chad? Jesus Christ. Is this a real person? What the hell? Alright, well. Uh. Um. Yeah, okay. That's. I think I'm gonna end it off there because. I feel like I did pretty good for this video, even though I'm only three minutes in. I apparently know how to stretch a video. Hot damn. But. Um, uh, go down in the comments. Tell me, what are your thoughts? Do you disagree or uh, agree with my takes on those comments? I, I think they're very obviously wrong, but that's just me. Once again, I'm single, so I, perhaps you should take my advice with a grain of salt, but I'd recommend that you don't because I have knowledge in talking and having conversations with people. Um, yeah. Uh, while you're down there, hit that subscribe button, become a fellow bread bag, and also hit that like button so the people who may not have seen this video can see this video and also join the bread box because once again, we need more bread. But I hope to see you in the next video and until then, have a good one.